Hello children, I hope you are feeling happy and strong today. I welcome you to this special English hour. Today we will sing, dance and listen to stories. Are you ready to have some fun? Come closer to the TV and join me in a fun song. Climb on board the Juk Juk train. There are so many things to see. Put your right hand up, then your left hand up. Go Juk 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 Juk. Ooh, what is that? That's an elephant swaying around. Ooh. What is that? That's a kangaroo hopping around. Climb on board the Juk Juk train. There are so many things to see. Juk 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 Ooh, what is that? That's a peacock dancing around. Ooh, what is that? Uh oh, that's a lion. Don't stop. Climb on board the Juk Juk train. There are so many things to see. Put your right hand up, then your left hand up. Go juk 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 juk. Children, today we are going to learn a lesson about two friends. The name of the lesson is bicycle. Children, do you like to? Play with your friends. I like to play with my friends and we play different games together. Do you like to share things with your friends? I like to share things with my friends, but sometimes I don't share a few things. What are the different ways in which you can share things with your friends. There are a few ways through which you can share things with your friends. Such as dividing the things equally amongst your friends. Or by exchanging things. Or by taking the things turn by turn. These are some of the ways through which you can share things with your friends. But it's not good to share all the things such as your toothbrushes, your towels, your comb and your handkerchiefs. You shouldn't share these personal things with your friends. To learn a new language, words are very important. So let's have a look at few new words. The first word is B I C Y C L E Bicycle 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 My father bought for me a bicycle. Raju is riding a bicycle. 
The second word is S H O U T Shout 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 We should not shout at others. Sham shouts to call the auto. The third word is F I N I S H Finish 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 The competition was to finish the race first. We will finish our homework today. The fourth word is C O U N T Count 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 I count on my fingers. I like to count the stars in the night. The fifth word is U P S E T Upset 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 I was upset because I lost my pencil. Rina was upset because she was sick. Now let's revise these words once again. The first word is bicycle. The second word is shout. The third word is finish. The fourth word is count. And the fifth word is upset. Children, now let's revise these words once again. B I C Y C L E Bicycle S H O U T Shout F I N I S H Finish C O U N T Count U P S E T Upset Now it's textbook time. We will read the lesson Bicycle from the textbook. Please open your textbook to page number 39. You may point your fingers to the words as I read it for you. And if you do not have a textbook, you may listen to me carefully. Let's get started. Children, let's read Bicycle. Raj is on the bicycle. Varad wants it. Varad pushes Raj off and rides the bicycle. How does Raj feel? How does Varad feel? Raj cries. He feels sad and angry. What do you think will happen next? Here we saw that Raj is riding the bicycle and Varad comes 
and pushes him off and he takes the bicycle now raj is really upset and he's also angry he cries let us see what happens next raj grabs the bicycle back raj and varaj then it's your turn okay i'll count here we saw that raj takes back the bicycle from varad both raj and varad start shouting mrs sushma enters then and she asks them what is the matter they both explain what happened later raj finds a solution he says we will ride the bicycle turn by turn they have worked it out raj is having a turn on the bicycle now it is varad's turn they both had a turn how is raj feeling now how is varad feeling now now they have worked it out both raj and varad are riding the bicycle turn by turn they both are happy in this lesson we saw that raj and varad had one bicycle both started fighting over it and they became really angry with each other later they found out a solution they used the bicycle turn by turn the same way we can also share our things with our friends in the same manner i hope you enjoyed the lesson now let's learn position words position word is a word that tells us about the position of a person or an object for example the ball is on the table the word on tells us about the position of the ball therefore on is a position word the same way you will see a few pictures and you have to guess the position words sounds interesting let's give it a try children Do you see this picture? The chick is dash the box. Can you guess the position of the chick? Yes, the chick is on the box. The position word here is on. Now, let's see the second picture. The chick is dash of the box. Where do you think is the chick? Yes, the chick is in front of the box. Now, here the position word is front. Let's see the third picture. Do you see the chick there? What do you think is the position of the chick here? The chick is dash the box. Yes, the chick is behind the box. 
Now let's see the next picture. Do you see the chick there? The chick is dash the box. Can you guess the position word here? Correct. The chick is beside the box. Now, let's see the next picture. Do you see the chick here? Can you guess the position word that can be used to describe the position of the chick here? Correct. The chick is near the box. The position word here is near. I hope you all enjoyed this activity. I hope you had fun learning, singing and dancing today. It's now time that you sit back and enjoy while I tell you a wonderful story. But before we begin the story, I would like to know whether you like to play with your friends or not. I love to play with my friends. But there is a boy named Mali who feels shy to play with his friends. Let's see what happens in the story. The name of the story is Mali's Friend. And the story is written by Rujeka Moyo. Let's start the story. Mali loves to play all by himself. He likes to become a pilot and swoosh around his house with his paper plane. Swo there is a knock at the door. It is Lazidi. She has come to play with Mali. Mali is shy. He doesn't know what to play with Lazidi. Lazidi tells him that can you play with me outside? We will make mud, pies and cakes. Lazidi and Mali goes out to play. They make mud pies and cakes and they even make pancakes and biscuit. Mali enjoys himself very much. Lazidi comes home again. She teaches Mali how to play in ghetto. Mali has a difficulty in understanding but Lazidi helps him. They both enjoy it. Mali then shows Lazidi how to make paper planes. They both move around the house with their paper planes swooshing around. Oh, they laugh a lot and have fun together. Mali asks Lazidi, Can I come to your house to play tomorrow? Lazidi says, Of course you can. And they both laugh together. The next morning, after gobbling down his porridge, Mali takes out his wire car. Where are you going? Go, go. Ask. I am going out to play with Lizeddy, Mali says.
in this story we saw that Mali was a shy kid. He didn't go out to play with his friends and when he went out to play, he did not enjoy himself. But later he meets Lizzie D. He plays with her. He starts to enjoy himself and later he goes out to play with her. I hope you enjoyed this story. Today we learned a lesson about bicycle. You can draw and color your favorite car in your notebook. I hope you enjoyed the session. I will see you in the next session. Until then, take care, stay safe and bye-bye.